the second sutra which says that everyone everything is happening in god everything arises in god everything remains in god everything merges in god that sutra is taken in bhagavatam and we have to define god also this sutra comes in upanishad taitri upanishad upanishad says yato va imani bhutani jayante ena jatani jivanti yat prayanti abhisamvishanti this is the mantra for which vyasa has written the sutra from where all these beings all these creatures things events individuals mind i everything arises and where everything stays and unto which everything returns tat brahma that is brahman and this is only a definition a clue and ultimately the upanishad decides what is it anando brahme divya janat ananda dheva khal vimani bhutani jayante anande na jatani jivanti anandam prayanti abhisamvishanti from ananda from bliss everything arises in bliss everything remains and to bliss everything returns back see this conclusion the sage reaches through various stages first he had the conclusion that everything arises from matter remains in matter and goes back to matter very me ordinary level of understanding where the science remains where ordinary people remain hmm? we need food we live for food and we will die without food and the only purpose of life is eat 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 and if you don't get food die the next stage is prana energy some people come to that level that vital energy and there also there is no stability there is no fulfillment then to the next stage mind thinking thoughts emotions there also the mind did not attain that stability then it went deep within shravana manana nididhyasana listening contemplation and meditation and some conviction clarity arose the my intellect became brilliant it got washed clean of all the gunas and vijnana kosha vijnanamaya kosha there also complete ananda did not arise and then went deeper it just it just kissed the self and came back the sadhaka when he does adhyatma vichara sadhana one day sometime sitting meditating the mind enters into a state where you feel the bliss it happens in every sadhaka's life you experience bliss ananda spurti you know shankaracharya in viveka chudamani gives the same example ananda pradibimba chumbita tanuh it just makes a chumbanam there chumbanam means kissing the mind just goes and touches the self and it feels thrilled ecstatic a bliss comes but that is not enough again you are thrown back again that pain that longing comes till you are stabilized then still you know that ananda is you that bliss is your very nature from bliss everything arises from in bliss everything stays and unto bliss everything returns till that conviction comes to you that god realization ishvara sakshatkara has not become purna in that purna sthiti there is no more compulsion to be always in samadhi even while working you are in ananda even service become ananda everything becomes ananda 
<coughs> so Ananda alone is there. And everyone is God. Whomsoever you meet, you are meeting Him. Sarvatav Pani Padam Tat Sarvatokshi Shiromukam Sarvata Shruti Maloke Sarvam Avritya Tishtati Sarvendriya Gunabhasam Sarvendriya Vivajitam. So that Purnat Sakshatkara has happened. Then you know that Janma Dyasya Yataha. The very first verse, you know, the very first sutra, the second sutra in Brahma Sutra, of course. Meditating on that, Bhagavadam becomes fulfilled. And who has the realization of that state, constantly he remains in the awareness of God. Isha Vasyam Idam Sarvam. Generally we say all other Upanishads, you have to study the Upanishad. But Ishavasi Upanishad, you need not study the book. You need not even open the book. Just the name is enough. Ishavasya. The moment you hear that name, fill everything with God. Ishwarena Achadaniyam. Cover everything with Ishwara. Don't be deluded, hypnotized by names and forms. Somewhere women are sitting, this side men are sitting. If you see this difference, you get bound. Tvam stri, tvam pumana, sitvam kumara, utava kumari. The Shruti says, Oh Ishwara, you are stri, you are purusha, you are kumara, you are kumari, everything. I remember a small anecdote, beautiful katha. Ramakrishna's disciple Swami Adbhudananda. He was called Adbhudananda because his very life was an Adbhuta. A wonder. He was most unlearned, illiterate. He could not even write his own name. He came as a worker, a servant, in one of Ramakrishna's devotees' home, Ramachandra Datta's home. But the moment Ramakrishna saw this boy, he felt he is a potential yogi. And Ramakrishna told him, I will give you a mantra. Hold on to that mantra. Remember, do not go to a street where there is a toddy shop. That was the Upadesha for him. Everyone had some uh, Upadesha according to their samskara perhaps. So he told him, do not walk in a road where there is a toddy shop. And you know this boy, his name was Latu. He had to come to Dakshineshwar and in the road there is a toddy shop. So he will go around 10 kilometers to avoid that shop to come to Ramakrishna. If today some master gives like that, it is very difficult. So that <laughs> much effort he had to take. So Later days, and another Upadesha was also given, keep away from women. So he held on to it very strongly. And as a sannyasi also, other sannyasis, they could read books, they could chant mantras, but he had only one hold, that is the mantra given by his guru. Ramakrishna tried to teach him alphabets. That is a very... Interesting story because Ramakrishna is a Bengali and uh, Latu is a Bihari. So Bihar they say A ah, and Bengalis they say O oh, and Ramakrishna will say O oh, and he will say A. Ah, he will say Ko and Adbudananda will say Ka. He say you are pronouncing wrong. <laughs> we don't know who is pronouncing wrong. <laughs> so that, that Jagada, that class ended there. So he didn't learn anything. The only learning was the Guru Mantra given to him and he was chanting it, chanting it, day and night holding on to it and meditating on the form of the Lord given to him. And he reached such a state that he used to walk in Kashi uh, like an avadhuta. Sometimes he will sit in a, once he sat in a train and the train was just stationed there 
nobody was there he sat inside the compartment and meditated and entered samadhi when he opened his eyes he was some 300 kilometers away somewhere because the train has moved so in that state he was so when swami vivekananda came back from west some western women devotees were also there with him so adbhudananda swami avoided that company he never went near there but he had all respect for swami vivekananda so when they were in kashmir vivekananda compelled adbhudananda he said lotto you come with me he used to call him as lotto come with me and they went in a houseboat and for teasing see there is a time when you have to hold on to all the rules and there is a time when you have to give up everything also so swami vivekananda for teasing adbhudananda swami asked the girl who was rowing the boat asked that girl he gave some betel leaf and said give to that swami and she took that betel leaf and said maharaj like this and you know what this swami ji did he jumped into the river so ice cold water he just jumped into the river and they somehow rescued him and he said swami ji vivekananda he told narayan what are you doing you know guru maharaj has told me to keep away from women and swami vivekananda said you know lato he told you to keep away from women but you know what he has done me he has made me free of all the differences of man and woman i feel i feel no difference i see only the atma there the self that difference is removed from me so that linga bheda is gone hmm? that all differences are removed because you see only the atma only the consciousness and that is pure samadhi state where the jnani can do vyavahara but nothing corrupts him even while you work nothing can bind you even in the world you are not in the world so that to attain that height of realization vyasa has put this tablet in the very beginning janmadya seyata if we can remember only this sutra bhagavatam is complete krishna means ananda narayana bhatadri in narayaniyam when krishna's birth happened he said ananda roopa bhagavan aite avatare your avatar is ananda avatar is the avatar of bliss you can never see krishna weeping anywhere only have to compassion and uh, bliss two or three places tears came to him when he hugged kuchela sudama tears came in, eye, in his eyes but that is out of compassion bliss but all the shokas no shokas could disturb him because he was ananda swarupa ananda is not just dancing it is the samasthiti ihaiva tair jita sargah esham samye sthitam manah nirdosham hi samam brahma tasmad brahmanite sthitah they are established in brahman they are centered in brahman